Proxima Centauri b. What would our first century of colonizing our nearest exoplanet look like? What problems will we face? What opportunities will it give us? And how are we going to get to Proxima b? All this you'll find out in this video. Once we have permanent bases and colonies on the Moon, Mars and the satellites of the gas giants, we'll have to go further afield, beyond the solar system. First, we'll look to Proxima Centauri, the closest star to the Sun, part of the Alpha Centauri star system. There's an Earth-type planet there, Proxima Centauri b, orbiting in the habitable zone of the Red Dwarf. It's in the constellation of Centauri at a distance of about 4.2 light-years, or 25 trillion miles from Earth. That's an insane distance, don't you think? If we were to use our current spacecraft, the journey would take about 19,000 years. But fortunately, by the time we get serious about colonizing Proxima b, we'll have technologies like NASA's helical drive, which will allow us to cut our travel time down to 5 years. Meanwhile, research probes are launched to the exoplanet, the purpose of which is to fly around and collect data from the exoplanet. After that, having received all the information, an unmanned cargo ship is sent to Proxima Centauri b. It will have to deliver to the surface of the planet about 500 tons of cargo, power plants, mining equipment, robotic equipment, parts for the construction of structures and much more. The main task of this stage will be to explore the terrain, search for water, ice and prepare infrastructure for future colonists. The remotely operated vehicles will have to prepare everything necessary for the safe landing of manned ships, such as clearing the terrain of obstructing debris and conducting geological reconnaissance of the area to find ice, which is critical for the survival of the colonists and the development of the settlement. After all, water is not only a substance vital to all biological life, but is also the raw material for the electrolysis reaction, which can be used to produce oxygen and hydrogen. The next stage is the first human visit to Proxima b. A total of two ships will go to the exoplanet. The one with people on board and a cargo ship. The ships will spend several years in transit and will reach their destination by 2110. Soon, because of the huge distance, it will be impossible to catch up with them from the Earth. And in the event of an emergency, the colonists will have to rely on their own strength. Several years of flight in interstellar space is no easy task. Before the designers of manned ships are complex and important tasks, because it's necessary not only to maximize the use of available spacecraft space, but also to make the journey comfortable and safe. The expected number of crew will be about 200-250 people. For them will be provided as individual cabins and common areas, as well as gymnasiums, to prevent unwanted changes in the body caused by a long stay in weightlessness. In addition, a significant amount of ship's interior space will be allocated for storage, various equipment and life support systems. After several years of flight, the first humans out of the portholes get a glimpse of Proxima Centauri b. What will we know about the planet by then? It orbits its star at a distance of about 0.05 astronomical units and has an orbital period of about 11.2 Earth days. Its mass is at least 1.07 Earth masses and its radius is only slightly larger than Earth's. The planet is also known to orbit within the habitable zone of its star. But because it's so close to its star, Proxima b is in a tidal grip. This means that the side that faces the star will be almost red hot and the other, the one that's turned towards space, is permanently cold and dark. And at the boundary between these two poles, we would see dawns and dusks almost like on the Earth. It's here, presumably, that temperatures reach from plus 45 to plus 60 Fahrenheit, which is the most suitable for our life. In a historic moment, the first humans set foot on the soil of Proxima Centauri b. The first crew includes scientists, explorers and robotics engineers from SpaceX and NASA. Together, they embark on new scientific experiments, technological tests and research, laying the groundwork for future settlements. The robot-created dwellings await their occupants. These state-of-the-art shelters, created from materials printed on a 3D printer, not only provide for the occupants, but also provide reliable protection from the strong radiation of the parent star. Biodomes have been built to allow agriculture using planetary soil as the part of the expansion strategy. 
Larger domes are planned for the near future, each connected to the others to maintain a safe environment for humans. To make Proxima be a more livable place, artificial trees and turbines have been strategically placed around the Centaurian colonies. These structures are necessary to convert carbon dioxide into oxygen, so that the air in the enclosed spaces remains breathable. And most of the food supply consists of lab-produced meat and genetically modified plants grown in protective underground tunnels. There are also supplies of familiar foods from Earth. The humans are accompanied by dozens of robots to help with construction work. The most advanced robots with varying levels of general intelligence help with household chores, cooking and more. Many of these robots are equipped with photonic and quantum computer chips to speed up information processing. Scientists begin using genetic engineering and biotechnology to make astronauts more resistant to Centaurian radiation and gravitational effects. Insects such as bees are introduced for efficient pollination, and earthworms are actively improving soil quality. In addition, Proxima B produces a diverse and intricate food web that produces small animals that feed on plants and insects. Some of these organisms are genetically engineered, while others are brought from Earth. The first colony gets most of its energy from solar panels and nuclear fusion reactors on the surface of Proxima B. 3D bioprinters, now a staple of medical facilities, can print the necessary organs and skin. This capability greatly reduces the risk of premature death and improves the quality of life for all inhabitants. What will be happening at this point in the solar system? Tunnel diggers are building an underground city on Mars and thermonuclear energy is being used to power floating ocean cities and rotating ring space stations orbiting Earth, the Moon, Mars, and the satellites of the gas giants. Massive floating cities will appear in the oceans, underwater habitat construction and terraforming of Mars will begin. On Earth, robots outnumber humans, a new supermaterial capable of withstanding the extreme conditions of Venus has been developed allowing robot missions to be planned to the solar system's hottest planet. Terraforming researchers show Earth's inhabitants the concept of a realistic floating space cloud city. Venus' upper atmosphere has more similar conditions to Earth's, and a successful station here could be a model for future air colonies and gas giants like Saturn, Jupiter and others. Mankind is declared to be a civilization of the first type. To ensure uninterrupted communication between Proxima B and Earth, a network of satellites is now in orbit. These relay stations provide a seamless dialogue between the two celestial bodies. Superintelligent AIs will become increasingly powerful and capable as infrastructure and energy develop on Proxima Centauri. Fully immersive virtual reality systems are the dominant source of entertainment, with humans immersed in photorealistic simulations brought from Earth. The state-of-the-art underground Hyperloop system now crisscrosses the landscape, seamlessly connecting various cities. Many countries, including the United Kingdom, India, China and the United Emirates, have begun building their bases in different regions of the exoplanet. As a result, the Centaurian landscape is now adorned with structures that reflect unique and exquisite architectural designs, showcasing each nation's culture and identity. The population of Proxima Centauri b is experiencing rapid growth. Colonies now number in the tens of thousands. Underground cities, exemplary of advanced design and engineering, are springing up on Proxima Centauri b, housing thousands of people. Some living areas offer luxurious accommodations for wealthy colonists. In addition to optimize the use of space, additional facilities are built above the surface. The power supply of these sprawling cities is highly efficient and environmentally friendly. Advanced artificial intelligence systems skillfully manage various urban operations, from organizing traffic flow to controlling critical life support mechanisms. As the population grows and spreads, individual settlements function as independent city-states with their own governance structures. A governing body representing the various city-states is established to deal with larger territorial or shared resource issues. Numerous human settlements thrive near natural features of the celestial body, especially near caves and lava tubes. These locations provide both protection and unique resources, making them ideal places to live. 
people can communicate with each other telepathically, using brain-computer interfaces. Humans are now using telepathy to control huge fleets of nanobots with their minds. They are directing these robots to build facilities at a pace previously thought impossible, greatly accelerating the development of Proxima B's infrastructure. Hundreds of facilities are being built, ranging from living quarters and restaurants to communications hubs and research centers. Cities in Proxima B are now fortified with powerful magnetic fields. This shield protects the inhabitants from harmful radiation, making it safer for them to stay in cities on the exoplanet's surface. Proxima B's landscape is adorned with massive art installations, so grand in scale that they can be seen from space. These artworks not only emphasize the rich Centaurian culture, but also serve as a testament to advanced capabilities. An impressive telescope has been built in one of Proxima B's craters. This monumental device allows scientists and astronomers to peer into the vastness of space, observing celestial bodies at incredible distances from an entirely different angle. For the first time, mankind is getting highly detailed images of the Milky Way, taken outside the solar system. To secure human settlements, an advanced laser defense system has been deployed. This system effectively protects Proxima b, Mars, Earth and other inhabited celestial bodies from potential asteroid threats. Each major Centaurian city is equipped with personalized medical pods. These advanced medical chambers provide full-body scans and a wide range of diagnostic and treatment procedures. Entire facilities on the surface of Proxima b are erected in a matter of hours, using advanced programmable matter. These structures have the ability to change their shape in response to environmental changes, such as temperature fluctuations and sandstorms. The first Interstellar Federation is established. This federation represents the interests and alliances of various planets and their colonies, marking a new era of space cooperation. Meanwhile, on Earth, they were able to create an Alcubierre warp drive. Nothing can travel faster than the speed of light, but negative energy is used to warp spacetime. The space behind the spacecraft expands, and the space in front of it contracts, forming a warp bubble, warping spacetime around the ship and breaking the speed of light. Thus, the flight to Proxima b is shortened to a couple of months, creating a tipping point in the colony's development. In addition, Earth's orbit utilizes entirely new forms of energy generation, unknown in the previous centuries. There is now an extensive network of energy capture vessels. They are organized to collect every ounce of incoming solar radiation reflected from Earth into space. Each ship is a node in a giant network that completely girdles the planets. Between the nodes, an invisible shield is formed that absorbs solar radiation from all corners of the planet. This invisible shield stabilizes the Earth's climate. At certain points on Earth, this shield can be adjusted to control the amount of solar heat. As a result, rain can fall where and when it's needed, while hurricanes and tornadoes can be easily controlled. The vast amount of energy now available to humans create tremendous wealth, prosperity and technological advancement. With more energy and the availability of the latest replicator machines, all material needs are almost completely eliminated. From this point on, the only way for human civilization to get more energy is to get it directly from the Sun and go into space. Mars declares its independence from Earth. Returning to Proxima b, advanced robotics have strategically placed massive superconducting rings around Proxima b, stretching along its equator. Thanks to this monumental engineering achievement, the exoplanet's electromagnetic field has been upgraded, providing protection from stellar wind and radiation, which could eventually lead to the formation of a denser atmosphere. Thanks to these protective measures, Proxima Centauri b is steadily moving toward becoming a heaven for life. The emergence of lakes and rivers paints a picture of transformation and potential, and vast stretches of once barren Centaurian desert are now showing signs of greenery, evidence of successful terraforming efforts. The monumental task of terraforming Proxima Centauri b is complete. Colonists can now walk freely in the open air without protective gear. The atmosphere has become breathable, allowing for deep and fresh breathing. As a result of the changes in the Centaurian atmosphere, the sky has become predominantly blue. 
However, in regions where dust is prevalent, the hues change from pale blue to pink or even red. This is the future for the future colonists of Proxima B. What do you think about it? Write your opinion in the comments and also subscribe to the channel, it helps us make videos more often. And if you want to look into the foreseeable future, we recommend our video about how Starship will help us colonize Mars and the future of humanity for the next thousand years.